at the end of the day, if we don't have a good composition filled with these wonderful elements and things, it's all for nothing. This is, say, us, and here's an eye level, and that little thing shoots off out there and eventually melts into the horizon. But if I tip my head down, then my angle of vision is here, and my eye level is up here. That's this. Okay. So I worked very small using a little viewfinder to create these very small, sm it's small is really important here because it makes you see the abstract shapes see, and not the details. I broke it down into these simple patterns, again, those shapes, so that I could see those abstract shapes, see how they're arranged within this format, and to decide if they were pleasing shapes to work with before doing anything else. Man-made things, buildings, people for that matter, birds, animals, those things are all different and not of nature. They're man's mark upon nature. So we always, when we look at a piece of artwork, we'll go to them first. So when I was confronted with this scene to paint it, and there was a bridge that I decided I wanted to leave across the canal, I knew that this area would become an area of fascination no matter what I did with it. See, look how important that, that tiniest little mark of blue becomes in this painting now. Because it's that little outlier, it's that little odd color that is not the dominant tone that the whole painting is governed in. It's just that little tiny whisper that is the accent tone within the painting.